Howdy, I'm John Richmond, the inventor of the Sluice Goose Gold Drop pay dirt separating processor. Today, I'm at an undisclosed secret location behind my shop in Albany, Oregon. And I'm at the tail end of processing one yard of pay dirt brought from Eastern Oregon. So, I will be showing you the process of which I use to classify the material and then process the dirt through the gold drop. So let's get to work. This device here is my shaker classifier. It consists of an eighth inch screen, two foot wide by four foot long, mounted in this framework. Now this framework is attached to the main frame by these two springs here. It is driven by this half horsepower motor on a pulley system attached to this jack shaft that rotates at 700 RPM. This cam here is rubbing on or rolling on a roller bearing attached to the shaker screen. So then it shakes, I put the dirt on the screen and the eighth inch material drops through the screen and while the larger gravels move on down the screen and dump off the end. So let's get to work and make it go. in the buckets and then we'll be able to process process that through the gold drop. Now we're ready to process this painter through the gold drop and see what we get. So what I'll be doing now is taking this painter, dropping it into the funnel. There's a swirling water mass that the dirt will be added to and then liquefied and dropped through the gold drop and then back up and out down this pipe to the tailings pond. Let's get started.
to be coming out clean water before I shut down. see that the, the tube, you see all the denser material down on the bottom of the trap spinning around while the rest of the tube is clear and there is no other debris inside the tube. So now we'll go ahead and drop the jar off and see what we got. Close it out here. Well, we got lots of debris. Oh, we got some pyrite. Oh, we got some gold. It looks like we've got some wire gold in there. Let's uh, let's take it inside and take a look at it. Okay, here's the material that dropped out of the jar when we dumped it in the pan. Let's see what we got here. Go around. Oh, there's a wire gold right there. Big chunk of something there. Um, oh, another wire gold. Let's go around to the edge of the pan here, see if we see anything obvious. And, oh, tell you what, let's do a demagnetizing job here. Get rid of the magnetite. Well, yeah, lots of magnetite in this. And a little bit of mineral. a lot of magnetite there. That big chunk is a cutting torch slag and actually it looks like a lot of this is cutting torch slag. It's kind of showing that this has been processed dirt sometime in the past. So now let's see what we got. Focused in on the dime there. Yes, that is. Oh, what is that silver next to that? Check this out here. That is amalgamated mercury. There's another little piece of gold next to that wire gold. Oh, there's another piece. So this represents three buckets of clay dirt. There is the other wire gold. Oh, there's a little piece of gold right there. Get back in focus here. Well, that's curious. There's that wire gold there. And that other wire gold there. 
with a piece of amalgamated mercury. More proof that this painter is tailings. Well, there you have it. That's what we got out of three buckets of clay soil. There we have the results of three five gallon buckets of that clay soil processed through the gold drop. Pretty dramatic, especially seeing that wire gold and that amalgamated mercury. Well, in the future I shall finish off the dirt that I have left over and give a grand total of the amount of gold recovered in the, everything. So, for now, thanks for watching and thanks for being interested.